Well, welcome back into the studio and the second layout in the Lark journal series. Now you'll notice here that I have already done a majority of the background work and what I'm going to focus on for this layout is the image itself. The image is a digital image that I printed off the um, internet and what I'm going to do and this is actually from Linda Lewis's one of her albums and so I am going to get that laid down and then I'm going to do um, some artwork to make that image um, more my own so you'll see me doing a lot of um, work to that image from here and then pulling the background in completely So I'm pulling in colors from my um, chosen palette and integrating that image I've laid down and the other pieces that I've laid down um, into um, a whole. And um, so that's really my focus. I'm trying to um, bring those tabs in to be part of the layout as a whole. You're like a dream. And you'll notice here I am laying down color and then I'm coming back with my rag and pulling up some of the color. And a majority of the reason why I do that is because I like the um, deckled or dappled kind of look that you get with that. So the rag pulls up some of the paint and not others because it's folded up and crunched. And I really like the, the, the look that that gives to the page. Down below in the description box is a, li a full list of all the supplies that I've used on this layout. Now I'm starting out with a very watered down paint. And this is in Titan Buff. And what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna be layering up so I can get the, the look of a more flowy, the kind of fabric that would be on a dress um, like what I'm using it on here. Always leave me without a warning. 
So here I'm just establishing a highlight that uh, was on the original print of this image and um, I just needed it to um, show up better than the pixelated part of the original image. So I'm just going back and re-establishing the edges of her neck and where that highlight needs to appear. And similar to the first um, image in layout one, I am going to be using the Liquitex blended fibers mixed with some acrylic paint. And this is in burnt umber. And that is what I'm going to be using for her hair, which I am gonna change up a bit. I'm doing a lot of drawing in between as I'm working on her face because I definitely want what I've done prior to be dried and not um, move it around any further. So I am doing a lot of um, small drawing sessions in between each layer that I'm putting on for her face.
taking this piece of craft paper and getting it kind of distressed so it'll match the rest of this layout. And I'm gonna use that for the background of kind of layering up the next piece, which is the verse from one of Linda Lewis's songs. using the Sakura Jelly Roll pen in white just to make some marks just on the edges usually uh, where the paper is sometimes I kind of go out from that but just really not very not real bold they're just really muted marks on the page all right so now that I have my second layout done I can go ahead and attach my first set of tabs from the front uh, cover. So I am bringing those over and attaching them to the next page because that will be the first page of the third layout. So as I progress, I am going to adhere the tabs so that I can make them one with the layout. If you haven't caught the prior videos, because this is part three, um, I do have a playlist in the end card, on the end screen, there'll be a link to the full playlist so if you can watch those other parts if you missed them.